Research is a powerful tool. Don't just rely on what you think you know. YouTube can be a great resource for gameplay videos. Being able to pause and rewind the action is invaluable. Did you know that you can step through videos frame by frame using the angled bracket keys? My research helped confirm many thoughts I'd been having and also uncovered some nuances around mouse movement that had really got me stumped. All this was food for my brain and I was super fired up to bring it all to scratch. And so, back in scratch, I completely restructured the player and hammer scripts, bringing the scripts together in a single sprite. This allowed the movement of the two objects to be tracked together and to move dependent on each other. Of course, in coding as in real life, you often have to compromise. It isn't reasonable to implement a full physics engine in Scratch, but often it's enough to create a good estimate of what the player is expecting. Perseverance is the hard work you do after you get tired of doing the hard work you already did. Success seems to be largely a matter of hanging on when others have let go. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. One plus one is two. If this wasn't always the case, if sometimes the answer was three, then we would be in trouble. The addition operator is therefore referred to as deterministic. Similarly in Scratch, if your player sprite reports that it isn't touching the level, then you would expect, assuming the player is not moved relative to the level, that this would continue to be the case. As it turns out, the sensing block in Scratch does not behave like this. It can be non-deterministic. This is down to how Scratch draws its sprites. Their size and shape can change very slightly depending where on the screen they are first visualised. This can easily break a carefully crafted platforming script, resulting in sprites becoming trapped, teleporting to the edge of the screen, or worse of all, your game freezing up. One solution I'm fond of using is to create a short fix-up script that, on detecting an unexpected collision, moves the sprite this way and that in an ordered pattern until it finds a spot close by where the sprite no longer reports as touching the level. This is an important feature in this game. It should go completely unnoticed as a player, but without it the game can go horribly wrong.
you never know what's around the corner. It could be everything, or it could be nothing. You keep putting one foot in front of the other, and then one day, as you look back, you've climbed the mountain. A winner is just a loser, what? who's tried one more time. And now the final oh. climb. What? I'm sorry to say goodbye, but thanks for playing my game, for giving me the time. What? Up the tree you go, your struggles end in sight. Up past the star you go, as you drift into what? the night. Defeat is not the worst of failures.